and, and, and the sincerity of your heart to God is huge. You making contact this way from the sincerity of your heart and getting real with your own heart, your own life, and with God will transform your life, guys. You keep your conscience squeaky clean and clear. Because even if you stumble, you, you, you go, duh. Because you don't want to stumble. So you're like, duh, that is so not who I am. Instead of, oh, look at who I am. That's what we do. I can't believe I just did that. I've been saved two years now and I just, I should know better. Duh, you dummy. If I didn't get it by now, I'm probably not going to get it. I wonder if I'm even saved. I don't even know if my heart's pure because here, that's what we do. The reason you're frustrated, the reason you're mad at yourself in the sense of being tempted to feel that way is because you don't want to do that. You get it? So why are we wearing that now? Instead of going, whoa, I am so glad for the light that you've put in my life, in my heart. And I just so thank you that you have sanctified me and separated me and showed me truth. That is so not who I'm created to be and who I am. That's not even my heart. God, I thank you that in weakness you make me strong. You love me, you nurture me, and you just robe me in righteousness. Thanks for being my father. Thank you that truth is fathering me. You're fathering me. Thank you for making me clean in your sight. You say, Dan, you can't pray that way if you stumble. That's the only way scriptural you pray. Show me another way. You confess it as that's not me. That is not you. That's not you in me. And he's faithful and just to forgive you. So you already have relationship here. It never severed. I'm not trying to get back to God. He's in me. I'm not trying to rebound. Why? Because I'm not losing my identity over a stumble. My identity is through his resurrection. You follow me? Because if not, you're going to get into legalism and you're going to walk on eggshells and you're going to try not to sin instead of enjoy being a son. Do you know how many people are trying not to sin because their hearts are pure? But in the process of trying not to sin, they're very aware of every little mistake and some of the purest people are the most condemned and the most critical on themselves. And the reason is, is because their hearts are actually pure inside and they don't want to miss it. And now they think they're constantly missing it. And the devil's just, oh, uh, mm, uh, well, why were you thinking that? Well, if you're a Christian, well, if you're pure, why? Mm, uh, mm, uh, ah! That's what happens. The only reason it's trying to eat you alive is because you care inside. You're alive inside. God has something to work with. It's what Satan's threatened by. He's trying to kill that, quench that, cover that over. Hide that. Push it aside. Because the pure in heart are going to see God. You get it? Come on. You can't, you can't walk through life and bump into the flesh and go, Oh my God, I'm nothing but flesh. I'm a carnal Christian. No, you bumped into the flesh. And you went, Whoa. God, thank you that you are growing, cultivating, and maturing my life. There's a time in my life I wouldn't even blink an eye. That would all actually seem normal. That is so not who I am. You've got to let that be known. That is so not who I am. And that is so not who you are in me. And I thank you for the power of your gospel, your blood, your love that sets me apart. And I thank you for washing me, making me wiser, sharper, smarter. Thanks for making me strong. In the midst of that, you can know him more and manifest him more. That's how powerful the gospel is. In the midst of that. Oh. Why? Because you run to him. And thank him for his goodness. And That's not an excuse for sin. That's cultivating you, maturing you, growing you up into him. Adam and Eve did what we do. Why are we doing what they did? Why are we running, losing our identity, half naked, ashamed, fig leaves, trying to cover? All that is a sign of is self-conscious. The whole fig leaf cover, the whole garden thing. They became self-conscious. Before the tree, they were God-conscious. God in them. Sin makes you self-conscious. Conscious. He destroyed sin in its power. 
He made you free from it. That's the scriptures that I wanted to go to, but I...